Corporal punishment is the use of physical force, such as spanking, to discipline someone for misconduct. Generally, parents can use corporal punishment on their children as long as it's not excessive. But when does corporal punishment become excessive? A Louisiana court considered that question in the case of State v. Sedlock. J.T., a fourth-grade student, was sent to the assistant principal's office for misbehavior. The assistant principal called in J.T.'s father, Stephen Sedlock, for a conference. When the conference ended, Sedlock kicked J.T. in the rear and kneed him in the back as they were leaving the school. The assistant principal witnessed the incident and reported it to the police, who then went to Sedlock's home to check on J.T., Upon arrival, the police found welts, cuts, and blood blisters on J.T.'s body. Sedlock said that he had whipped J.T. with a belt to discipline him for his misbehavior at school and for his failing grades. The state of Louisiana charged Sedlock with cruelty to a juvenile. At trial, Sedlock claimed that his conduct was justified as reasonable discipline. Ultimately, the trial court found Sedlock guilty, and he appealed to the Louisiana Court of Appeal. <laughs> 